I have a Pentair Easy Touch IntelliFlow pump pool with a salt water generator. I want to know why my salt water generator says low flow and what function does the filter pump and the water feature play in this because it doesn't seem to be working properly as I have to put acid and chlorine in every week, which I should not. So what's going on with my pool system? So this is a multifaceted question and I'll, I'll see if I can get all of them. So if your salt system is saying low flow, if the flow switch is working, it's saying that you're not getting enough water through the salt generator to activate it, turn it on to make chlorine. Hence, you needing to add chlorine all the time, which that would tell me one of a couple things. Something wrong in the pump, like a plugged impeller, or something wrong in the plumbing on the suction side where it's introducing air into the pump so that you're not getting flow, or something in the filter. Uh, filter needing to be backwashed, filter needing a sand change, something to prevent that's preventing the proper water flow through the filter, hence into the heater, if heater or not, or into the salt system. If you're not getting flow in the salt system, it means either water is being restricted in the filter or it's not being drawn through the pump or pushed through the pump. So impeller in the pump could be plugged. You could have uh, air leaks in the gaskets of the pump or in the plumbing in front of the pump. You could have a plugged filter those would all be indicators as to why the system wouldn't be working. And that's something that the easy touch isn't going to, the diagnostics of that are not going to be able to tell you. So, uh, the and, and another possibility could be that your, depending on how old the uh, salt cell is, an EC uh, 20 or 40, whatever it is, or IC, I'm sorry, uh, based on that, it may also be the unit itself. If the unit's four to five years old, likely the unit is bad. If it's newer than that, it could be any one of those other things, but there's a lot of different things going on. And you're adding acid as well because the pH is constantly climbing in that environment. So you're bringing it back down, which would indicate that the salt system is working. However, what people don't understand when they have what's called an IC20 or an IC40, what that means, if your system is an IC20, your salt system. It means that that chlorine generator needs to be running 24 hours a day to be able to produce enough chlorine for a 20,000 gallon pool. So if, you're 20, if your pool is 20,000 gallons and you're running it 12 hours a day, it's not producing enough. If you have an IC40 on there and you're running it 12 hours a day and you have a 20,000 gallon pool, likely it would be able to make enough chlorine. So you kind of could have an awful lot of thing go, things going on there it's just not running long enough to produce enough chlorine. It's not, you know, the pH is continually climbing because it's generating the chlorine, which is increasing the pH in the water in your head and having to add uh, uh, acid all the time. And that's a fairly normal thing. But you kind of have to look at all the components and make sure, is everything sized properly? Is each of the components working properly? I think once those are all figured out, uh, it should work pretty flawlessly.